So please join me as I welcome on stage Pi Pops. My name is Samuel. Um, I'm the CEO of Pi Pops. Pi Pops is a, you could say, very technical product, right? So for me, my goal would be to try to simplify the whole idea behind Pi Pops for you know, whomever I'm presenting to. And I'm mostly excited, you know, but then I'm trying to maintain my charisma, so I'm, I'll be looking to go in there with some charisma. So, yeah, hello everybody. Hi. Does this work? Awesome. All right, good. Hi everybody, my name is Samuel. Um, see you at PipeOps, DevOps Copilot for cloud deployment and infrastructure management. So, 94% of startups these days opt to use the cloud, but only about 8% of global tech workers actually have cloud-related experience, right? DevOps ex expertise or cloud expertise is expensive, and startups are left with inefficient workarounds that fall short in terms of accessibility, usability, and cost effectiveness. Just yesterday, I, was, I spoke to some of the founders in this com competition, and a few of them shared their pain points with me, right? And, you know, ranging from um, paying huge sums to, for a DevOps engineer, which doesn't make sense, you know, because you're early stage and you hardly have money right, to finding it difficult to set up AWS, finding it difficult to migrate from cloud platforms like Heroku to Azure, for instance. This is exactly why we're building pipe ops. We've built a no-code platform that makes it super easy for software engineers and startups to set up their cloud infrastructure, effortlessly manage it, and also deploy their applications and services into it with little DevOps expertise required. And the next step for us is to introduce artificial intelligence, right? Leveraging on GPT-4's natural language processing, we are able to make it super easy for startups to troubleshoot and auto-manage their cloud infrastructure. It's like having a world-class DevOps engineer in your team. We have a global market um, opportunity of, of about $5 billion. And in the next five years, we're looking to capture just 2% of that across Nigeria, Rwanda, Kenya, and Ghana. We currently run a freemium model, right, um, with our paid plans starting from as little as $6 for software engineers and going up to $1,000 for, for um, startups. We went live in, we went live in February um, with our monthly recurring revenue already at $1,000 and 158 registered users, 59 active users. Our team is built by software specialists in software engineering, cloud engineering, product design. Thank you so much. Thank you for the pitch, Samuel. I'm always excited when I see Nigerian founders building um, technical startups um, that can serve the world. And that's my, I guess, in there is my question. Yes. What about uh, Pipe Ops is geographically unique? Why are you limiting yourself to, because I suspect this is a problem for startups mm -hmm. globally. Why are you limiting yourselves to Nigeria and Rwanda and all of okay. these markets first. Um, and secondly, if you're not limiting yourself, or if you are not, how, what is then the competitive landscape and what is your unfair advantage as okay. a company? Awesome, thank you so much for that question. Um, so first of all, of course, we understand that Pipe Ops is a global uh, you know, product, right? Um, but then, so we are not limiting ourselves, but then it just makes sense for us to 
start to conquer Africa because we already have some players outside of Africa, right? So, you know, which is why we're saying we want to start here first. And then once we have captured, you know, that 2%, we can now scale upwards from there. Yeah, that's, that, that actually is my question. There's okay. no AWS for Africa. There's mm -hmm. one AWS for the world. So yeah. why, I mean, what is so unique about this problem mm -hmm. uh, that suggests that focusing on Nigeria or Rwanda first is the sensible thing okay. to do? Okay, so ultimately, right, Africa actually um, lacks the most in terms of this um, cloud expertise we're talking about, right? So, um, for, for instance, a huge chunk of the certified AWS you know, practitioners out there are abroad, you know, meaning African st startups don't really have access to these guys, they cannot afford them. Yeah. So you know, this is where Pipe Ops comes in, basically. Thank you, Samuel. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much.